I think for me, it was all always ingrained in me to go on to university after studying my A-levels. Um, I was lucky enough to kind of take a year out, um, work a little bit beforehand um, and kind of save up before coming down to London. Um, but I think it was always kind of something that I was looking forward to. Um, and I think career-wise, I always envisioned to have a university um, sort of education before then pursuing that career. Um, I did want to go on to do law afterwards, so it was kind of inevitable that university would have to play a part. Well, it wasn't my first choice, um, but it was definitely the best decision that's ever been made for me. Um, I uh, wanted to go to King's um, and then got rejected and ended up at SOAS. Um, and at first I didn't think it would be for me at all. Um, and then I came to SOAS uh, during the Freshers' Fair and realised how perfect it was for me and how actually it was exactly what I'd been looking for and hadn't really experienced in the past. Um, I think there was such great diversity on that first day. Um, it was all kind of thrown at you, but it was an amazing experience. And every year um, throughout my degree, it just got better and better um, to the point where I didn't really want to leave. And I kind of understood why people then did their, their masters and, and carried on studying at SOAS um, because it's the kind of place that you don't really want to, to leave. It opened my eyes um, to a completely different perspective. Um, I loved history, I loved studying at school. It was a very Eurocentric um, sort of history that, that we learned at school and back then I had no idea of this other perspective so I kind of accepted it and, and sort of regurgitated it when, when asked to um, and didn't really think anything, anything more beyond that. Um, so it was great to see that there was a whole different perspective um, and how different players kind of um, were involved in what I'd already previously learned about. Um, and also just opening my eyes up to new communities um, and countries as well that I'd never even heard, of, heard about. The, the lecturers were probably the highlight um, of going into, into our sort of seminars um, and our lectures. Um, they brought such great kind of charisma um, and character to what we were learning. Um, you know, there'd be kind of rumours about them being spies and, and things, but um, actually it was just, it kind of helped to bring to life what we what we, what we were learning. Russell Square is the kind of place where you wouldn't really sort of need to go anywhere else. Um, other people from other universities used to think that it was ridiculous to have such a small campus and you know, how could you spend your whole day on, on such a small kind of site? But actually, it seemed to have everything. Um, and it was really quite handy to have everything so close by. Um, we had our halls really close um, to Russell Square. Um, everything that we needed was was kind of there on our doorstep and we were in the heart of London. And there was so much going on as well. There'd always be a, I remember always kind of coming in sort of for seminars or lectures and there'd always be a protest of another kind um, and people kind of trying to rally, rally everyone around on the steps, um, which is really nice. And that's kind of, I've never sort of experienced that before. So to kind of be opened up to that was really um, great um, and insightful. So on the face of it, it would seem that it hasn't really had an impact on my career, um, having studied history, but now working in marketing and advertising. Um, but actually, it's helped me um, realise the kind of company that I do want to work for. Um, and Step Travel is kind of the, the company that's a SOAS away from SOAS, almost. Um, the ethos that I kind of learnt at SOAS is still much the same at Steps um, in the way that they kind of travel responsibly um, and everything that we do has, a, has an impact for the better um, in a global sense rather than to the detriment of any other community. The SOAS culture has been um, really influential um, in kind of learning about the kind of company that I want to work for. Um, but actually, other than that, I mean, working in travel, you get to meet a great array of people, um, go to um, some amazing destinations, um, some that I hadn't even heard of. Um, and actually, having studied at SOAS, you kind of are prepared for all of that. A lot of my colleagues would, even if they'd been in travel for over a decade, they wouldn't have heard about some of the communi communities or um, the destinations that we were launching um, holidays to. Um, so it kind of gave me the upper hand. Um, and I think you, there's such a great kind of diversity that SOAS kind of has that actually that is preparing you for the, the world. Um, I would advise anyone that's considering to study at SOAS to drop their preconceptions um, and just to come with an open mind and just to enjoy everything that it has to offer and to make the most of it as well because there won't be 
any other places that offer the kinds of things that SOAS does and the kinds of societies that there are um, that you can join um, to the clubs, um, even to their sports. I mean, you wouldn't have your kind of traditional sort of rugby um, clubs that you might do in other university, um, universities in London, but it's something that you won't get anywhere else.